Hi, my name is Jared Singleton. I'm part of the team here at South Point. And today, uh, I want to talk to you guys about Holy Water by We the Kingdom. That's one of the songs that are that's up this week in South Point. Um, I I love this song. As soon as I heard it, I immediately like fell in awe. Um, it just means so much more than what it says. Um, much like mo many of us in our walks, we are so much more than what we may say or do. Um, I'm going to just go through the verses and just talk about what, what they mean to me and, and how much they impacted me. Um, verse one is, uh, God, I'm on my knees again. God, I'm begging, please again. I need you. Oh, I need you. And that verse is just, regardless of where you are in your faith walk, that verse is just very powerful. And it's just, you know, we are all, we are all, you know, we all at some point have to, you know, submit and submit to a lot of things, submit to people, submit to um, rules, submit to law, but there's nothing quite like submitting to our heavenly father and submission um, to him is, is just so freeing and enriching and so much um, life giving that uh, it doesn't matter what's been done to you and by you as man likes to say uh, you know that that submission is so freeing and enriching in our lives that it's just amazing that we get to have that and have that relationship with him uh, verse 2 says walking down these lonely roads water for my thirsty soul i need you oh i need you um, you know, a lot of times, uh, we have to remember that, uh, our father doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. And usually when he does that, when you're going through that season, those valleys, um, usually not always, but usually you can feel like you're going through them alone. That is just you on this road to this end goal that only you and God knows. And you're trying to, to get there. And I just love how this song kind of in four, three to four verses in a bridge, it just takes you all the way in and, 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 and gets you to that spot where you can really be um, in communion with the Father and, and learning about Him and learning about who you are in, within Him and who He is in you. Um, and the chorus is, Your forgiveness is like sweet, sweet honey on my lips, like the sound of a symphony to my ears, like holy water on my skin. Um, I, I love this chorus because it just, it evokes very specific things that are of the Father. Um, you know, they always talk about uh, Jesus being the bread of life or in living water. They always talk about how much like, you know, he always references his, um, he always references himself and the Last Supper, and he ref it's constantly calls backs and references to himself and of himself. Um, and the whole song is like that. Um, verse three is dead man walking, slave to sin. I wanna know about being born again. I need you, oh God, I need you. We're all slaves to sin and we're all dead men walking. We need to know that through him, we can find truth. Through him, we can find uh, reconciliation. Uh, through him, we can find peace. Um, Take me to the riverside. Take me under baptize. I need you, oh God, I need you. Um, this whole song is about is about being baptized um, and being baptized by, you know, the Holy Spirit, being baptized in living water. You know, it's all it's all referencing and reminiscing about who God is and what to be baptized actually means to die that death, to go into that watery grave and come back up again a new creature. Um, I just think that that's a very important aspect of this song that we need to keep in mind and remember. Um, the bridge is, I don't want to abuse your grace. God, I need it every day. It's the only thing that ever really makes me want to change. His grace that he came and died and went on that cross willingly, knowing that he was dying for us, you and me and we, that, that is a grace that we daily need to be reminded of. And this song does an excellent job of that. And I just, that's why it really resonated with me is that it just constantly reminded me that, that I am not enough and only through him can I become enough. 
to, to go through life, to do this, to do all of this. Uh, I, I'm reminded of the verse John 4, 5 to 15, Jesus and the woman at the well, where um, Jesus actually references to himself as living water. Um, the, the asks, he tells the woman that if you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to give to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, sir, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself? as well as his sons and his livestock. And Jesus answered and said to her, whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water, springing up into everlasting life, much like the song, Holy Water by We the Kingdom. Thanks guys, enjoy. <laughs>